The latest release of Unreal Engine builds upon the groundbreaking feature set released in UE5 to add a new level of robustness, efficiency, and accessibility with the needs of different sectors in mind. Here are just some of the highlights of Unreal Engine 5.1. First up, we've laid the groundwork for Lumen, Nanite, and Virtual Shadow Maps to support games and experiences running at 60 FPS on next-gen consoles and capable PCs so fast-paced games and simulations can run without latency. Nanite has been updated with a programmable rasterizer to allow for material-driven animations and deformations via world position offset, as well as opacity masks. Here we're using it to animate leaves blowing in the wind on Nanite-based foliage. In this release, we've continued to enhance tools for building massive open worlds. New hierarchical level of detail support for water rendering and streaming means you can create large water bodies with better performance and a smaller memory footprint. And here, we're using World Partition with the newly supported Large World Coordinates, enabling us to create a massive open world without loss of precision. World Partition also features better source control workflows, just one of the new features for improved developer efficiency which also include virtual assets for faster and more efficient data syncing, pipeline state object caching for DX12, and on-demand shader compilation. Unreal Engine 5.1 sees significant improvements in performance and usability for in-camera VFX workflows that apply equally to the broadcast and live events space. Stage operators get a new dedicated in-camera VFX editor tailored to their specific tasks, such as light card placement and editing on in-display walls. It also provides access to new color correction tools. The virtual camera system is now more responsive and reliable, and features an updated UI with a modern, camera-focused design. And adding an EXR or movie file to a level or sequencer is now just a matter of drag and drop from the content browser. Character animators have plenty to look forward to in this release. The machine learning deformer lets you generate high fidelity approximations of deformation rigs from Maya that execute in real time in UE. On another front, Control Rig continues to expand toward fully procedural rigging. Now you can create a single Control Rig asset and use it for characters with different skeletal proportions and properties. Improvements to a sequencer include support for constraints, letting you quickly and easily create and animate relationships between any control rig or actor. For example, making a camera always follow a character or keeping a character's hands on a steering wheel. Enhancements to the modeling toolset include new functions for geometry scripting, UV editor improvements to handle more complex assets, and a new pattern tool that lets you tile one or more selected meshes along a line, grid, or circle oriented on a movable 3D plane. Last but not least, Metasounds now offers additional node types, support for various multi-channel output formats, and enhanced usability. We've also introduced Soundscape, a plugin for procedural ambient sound generation. These are just some of the highlights of what's new in Unreal Engine 5.1. You can find out more on our What's New page, where you'll also find a link to download the release if you're a new user. Otherwise, it's available right from your Epic Games launcher. Enjoy!